This is Mr. Cleland from Cleland Maths, and today we're going to look at algebraic fractions. All the algebraic fraction stuff you will need to know for the 2022 National 5 exams. That includes simplifying, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing them. Obviously, you could have a complicated question with bid mass as well, but let's just go straight into it with simplifying. First one says, simplify 2x squared, add 2x over x squared plus 5x plus 4. Your method is always to do this. Fact, try and factorise the top. Let's see if we can do that. Well, 2x is a common factor, so I get x add 1. Then, go ahead and do the same at the bottom. So I'll try and factorise the bottom. Well, that's a trinomial, so it's double brackets. Two numbers at times to make 4, but add to make 5. Well, that's just 4 and 1. So it's x add 4, x add 1. Notice there's an x add 1 on the top, and there's an x add 1 on the bottom. We are good to go. Let's cancel these guys, and we end up with just... 2x on the top and x add 4 on the bottom. No more cancellation because there's nothing exactly the same on the top and the bottom. It has to be in brackets in brackets if you're going to cancel. Simplify x squared plus 5x plus 6 over 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. More complicated, but both trinomials. But go back to my previous videos on factorising if you need help with this. So factorising the top and we're going to factorise the bottom. Factorising the top would give us x add 3 and x add 2. The bottom one's really one of the more complicated ones. Have a look and see if you can do it. The answer is 2x add 1 and x add 3. You're looking for the same top and bottom. So then we can cancel the x add 3s. Goodbye there, leaving us just with x add 2 and 2x add 1, and we're done. Okay, multiplying algebraic fractions. Multiplying is one of the more basic ones. Now you've got two choices. Multiply it all first, then simplify, or as I prefer to do with multiplying, simplify in advance. So I'm looking for things on the top and bottom that are the same, or if I can simplify by cancelling down numbers. So let's start with B and B. They can go. Then we can look at 6. Divide that by 2, we get 3. Divide the 2 by 2, we get 1. We'll just divide it by 2. Then we can look at the 5s and the 5s, where we just cancel one another. And last thing, we've got C on the top and a C on the bottom, so they can go. So what's left? Well, on the top, we've got 3AA, so 3A squared. And on the bottom, we've got oh, just a 1. If everything's gone, it's 1. So we don't need the 1. So the answer is just 3A squared. Dividing, a little bit harder. When you divide by a fraction, always, whether it's numbers or algebra, Divide turns to times, and we times by the reciprocal. What does reciprocal mean? It's like taking the fraction and turning it upside down. And it's the second, the one after the divide sign. Let's have a look at that. Let's see if that, how that looks. So we've got 6x squared over 7y divided by 4x over 3z. So that equals, well, we're going to have our fraction still. First of all, our divide becomes a times. Our 6x squared just goes in the place where it already was, and so does our 7y, not a problem there. But now, our 4x goes on the bottom, and our 3z goes on the top. It's turned upside down, it's a reciprocal. And now we just do the question as normal, times and. So we can simplify in advance. So we can take an x here, divide them by x, we get x, divide the other x, it goes. And, well, I don't think there's anything... Oh, yes, 6 and 4. So we can divide the 6 by 2 to get 3, divide the 4 by 2 to get 2. So now just times in the top, and we get 3 times 3 is 9, x, z. And times in the bottom, we get 7 times 2 is 14, y. Let's have a look. 9, x, z over 14, y. Add in fractions or take away. When you're adding, you're looking for a common denominator. Easiest way to get a common denominator with algebraic fractions, if it's just two of them, just times them together. So your common denominator is B times C, B, C. And then you can think of this like a cross as a simple way to do it. Really, you're times in the first fraction by C and the second fraction by B. So that means that you're getting 5A times C and 3D times B. Putting that together on the top then, you've got 5AC plus 3DB or BD over BC. And you cannot simplify that because there's not a common thing across everything. So we're done. 
The 2017 specimen paper two, question 13, it says simplify x squared minus 4x over x squared plus x minus 20. So we factorise the top and factorise the bottom. Factorising the top, x is a common factor, so it's x, x minus 4, and the bottom's a trinomial, which gives you x plus 5 and x minus 4. Remember, you're looking for the same top and bottom. x minus 4, x minus 4, leaving just x over x plus 5. 2014, paper 2, question 9. It says express 7 over x plus 5 minus 3 over x as a single fraction. We're adding fractions. So here's our fractions. Common denominator, just times the denominators. Then we can do the first one times x and the second one times x plus 5. So putting that together on the top, we're going to get 7x minus 3 bracket x add 5 because we're times the whole thing by x add 5, and in the bottom, x bracket x add 5 again, because it's x times x add 5. Now we can multiply out our, um, we can multiply out our bracket on the top, so we get 7x minus 3x minus 15 over x x add 5, simplifying the top is 4x minus 15 over x x add 5, and we're done. 2015, paper 2, question 7, divide, so remember divide means Divide changes to times, and with times by the reciprocal of the second fraction. We turn the second fraction upside down. So if we do that, look at it, we are going to get 5t over s times 2s squared over t. Now we simplify in advance. So the t's can go, we can divide by an s, and to get an s on the top still, and that's it. So we've got 5 times 2 is 10, 10s. Nice, done. This has been Claire Maths today. We've been reviewing algebraic fractions and subtract times divide and simplifying. Take care, stay safe, goodbye, and good luck.